This is part 79 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to retrieve and display all roles in ASP.NET Core using the Identity API. Here is what we want to be able to do. Retrieve all the roles from the underlying database table and display them on a web page as you can see right here. At the moment, in the underlying database table, ASP.NET roles, we have only one role which is the admin role. We discussed how to create this role in our previous video. So we want to retrieve these roles and display them on a web page using Bootstrap for cards. So in the card header, we want to display the role ID and in the card body, the role name itself and in the card footer, a pair of buttons to be able to edit and delete the role. The first question that comes to our mind is, how do we retrieve the list of all roles from the underlying database table? Well, for that, on the role manager class, we have roles property that's going to return us an I queryable list of identity role objects. So the first thing that we want to do here is within this controller, let's introduce an action method and it's going to be a public method. Returns I action result. Let's name the method list roles. And we want this method to respond to HTTP get. So let's also decorate it with the HTTP get attribute. Inside the action method, let's create a variable. I'm going to call it roles and role manager class is already injected into this controller. So on the role manager instance, notice we have roles property. And if you notice from the IntelliSense, it returns an I queryable list of identity role objects. All that is left to do within this controller action method is to return a view and to this view we want to pass the list of all roles and it is the responsibility of the view to display these roles. Our obvious next step is to add list roles view because the name of the action method is list roles and we are going to place this list roles view within the administration folder because the name of the controller is administration. So right click add new item and we want to add a razor view and let's name our razor view list roles. Roles property of the role manager class returns an I queryable of identity role objects which is what we are passing to the view. So for this view I'm going to set the model to I enumerable of identity role because the interface I queryable implements I enumerable, we can set the model to I enumerable of identity role. Next, let's set the page title as all roles. And let's also include an H1 element and display the text all roles. Next, we want to check if we have got at least one role to display. And the easiest way to do that is by using the link method any. If this expression returns true, then we have to write code within this if block to display the list of roles. We'll do that in just a bit. Else, this view did not receive any roles. So let's display text stating no roles to display. Let's do that using bootstrap for card. In the interest of time, I'm going to base the required HTML here. There's nothing specific to ASP.NET Core in this HTML. It's pure HTML and some bootstrap styling classes. So here we have a bootstrap for card. The card has got a card header which displays this text, no roles created yet. And then we also have a card body and it's going to display this text. Use the button below to create a role. We have a button here. If you recollect within the administration controller, we have this create role action that we created in our previous video and it is this action method that creates the role. So within our list roles view, when this create role button is clicked, we want to go to the create role action within our administration controller. So let's specify the name of the controller using asp-controller tag helper and the name of the action method using asp-action tag helper. Now within the administration controller, if we go to the create role action, notice upon successfully creating the role, we are redirecting the user to the index action of the home controller. But instead, let's redirect the user to this new list roles view. So the name of the action method is list roles. And this action method is within administration controller. 
At this point, let's delete this one admin role that we have in our underlying database table. Save all our changes and test our application. As you can see, I'm already logged in and we are on the application homepage. Now let's navigate to slash administration slash list roles. Since we do not have any roles in ASP.NET roles database table, we see the Bootstrap 4 card displaying this text, no roles created yet. And when we click this create role button, notice we are redirected to create role action within the administration controller. Now let's create a new role. Notice the role is created and we are redirected to list roles action within the administration controller, but we do not see that role information here. That's because at the moment we haven't implemented the required code yet. So let's do that now. If this expression model.any returns true, then we know we've got roles to display. So let's use a for each loop, loop through each identity role object that we have in the model. Notice from the IntelliSense, the model for this view is an I enumerable of identity role. So this variable is of type identity role. So as we are looping through, we want to display each role using Bootstrap 4 card. So in the interest of time, I'm going to paste the required HTML. Again, there is nothing specific here to ASP.NET Core. This is straightforward HTML and some Bootstrap styling classes. So in the Bootstrap card header, we want to display role ID. To get the role ID, we're going to use ID property of this identity role object. And in the card body, we want to display role name. And again, to get the role name, we're going to use the identity role object name property. Let's wrap this using an H5 element. For styling this properly on the H5 element, let's use bootstrap class card title. Finally, in the card footer, we have buttons to edit and delete the role. We'll discuss implementing edit and delete functionality in our upcoming videos. At the top of the page, let's include create role button. As you can see, when we click this button, we go to the create role action within the administration controller. Let's save these changes and test our application. Notice when we reload this page, we see the one admin role that we have. Now let's create another new role. We already have a role with this name. Now let's try to create this role and see what happens. Notice we get a validation error, which is good. Now let's name our role user. There we go. We see both the roles. Implementing a view that displays the list of all roles is straightforward. First, in the controller action, use the roles property of the built-in role manager service to retrieve the list of all roles from the underlying ASP.NET roles database table. Pass that list of roles to the view. In the view, loop through each role object. As you're looping through, use ID property of the identity role object to get the role ID and name property to get the name. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.